Hi Sagittarius, this is your July 2020 forecast if you'd like a private reading with me or hypnosis to facilitate permanent change, do use the link below. Look Sagittarius, some of you are going through a split, a divorce, uh, some of you are um, getting married um, and so um, over the course of the uh, next two years, um, what we're doing is we're looking at our commitment when we're changing our title and our status. We're letting go of our ego. We're letting um, go of how the world sees us as a person and our own perspective of the world as well. This month, you're looking at um, how you rely on others and the other in your life. Um, so birth, death, marriages as well. And um, what you do need to let go of is the old self so that you can commit to this new self. And it's going to be friends, groups, organizations that are going to help you get to those uh, greatest hopes, dreams, and wishes. Um, also, um, any kind of organizations or alliances are going to help you get there. Now, interesting, do watch your sun, your moon, and your rising because some interesting things um, have been happening with spread. So for you as well, uh, two cards came out stuck together for your career and your finance. And that is the lover's card and also the, uh, the two of pentacles, which is also a partnership card and making a decision based on news that's coming in shortly about what's happening in the future. So when I look at this, lover's card is a major arcana card and it is about fortune. It is about values. It is about luxury. And it is about a difficult, complicated um, partnership. Now, if this is about partnership um, as in love or family, financially there is a complication here there is some difficulty here there is a tricky situation here on who has the balance here and who has the power this is karmic and this is about you know I'm weighing up um, you know what is it worth it to me do I just accept and just go or do I fight for it or is it my insecurities I don't feel valued I don't feel heard I don't feel like we're both putting in the same amount here whether this be your salary uh, or whether this be um, money that you deal with with other, which can be a partner and or home. So, you know, whatever that is. When it comes to your salary, you're having tricky negotiations about your salary. And so you are thinking about your value and um, what you will and will not sell out for. So, you know, I don't think they're paying me enough. Um, you know, uh, also I feel... Um, my principles and values are, are on the line there about, you know, give or take or, or about uh, my position or my finances and, and how I go about that. It's also um, what I rely on and my own money and my own salary and how that makes me feel about myself in versus um, the money I receive from my employer or others. So, you know, there, there is a, um, you know, um, forces against it, so it's an internal, so maybe that's what that is, but financially you are going to hear some information, so it could be um, in the first 20 days, because there is an eclipse on that, or a full moon on that, and so that information comes in, but it's giving us another date, it's giving us another time, so don't forget Mercury retrograde right through to July the 26th, end of shadow period, we also have the eclipse at the beginning of the week, so nothing is settled, nothing is final, this is a planning stage, this is a planning A and B and research stage, getting everything ready stage, but there is not going to be any absolute guarantees or stability until after July the 26th. Be careful what you're agreeing to, be careful of what you're signing to because the details are not there. Be careful of what you're agreeing to because it may not be what you think you are and there's hidden details, um, fine clause, fine print. When it comes to your home, you do have the Knight of Swords. So this is a um, fresh air breathed into that which you think um, is uh, gone. And this is about, and there's two messages coming in, so again, if we're talking about finances to do with a divorce or shared finances or even a marriage, because remember I said eight houses, births, deaths, marriages, um, and divorces. So, you know, if we're talking about sharing our finances as we're getting married or as a de facto couple, um, or even the divorce, like I said, something here is breath, air, um, breathed into that which we thought was dead and gone. So there's a reconciliation there. Even reconciliation as in our finances have been reconciled or our values have been reconciled. When it comes to um, the home though, this is a renewed um, confidence, renewed um, um, strong role and security there. So you're feeling more safe in regards to how you are at home or your home in general. This is a return, so all these rewords, so we're renegotiating, reuniting, um, returning, we're doing all these things, it's Mercury etch grade, so 
um, that, that's why these things are back into play. So things are coming to a natural conclusion. Things are progressing, taking advantage of things um, that you weren't able to before. Um, you know, things are gathering speed and now finally happening. So all of these things are happening. And there is going to be times when you're going to be overwhelmed by this. Um, but again, we need to keep that balance. When it comes to your health, you've got a lot of pressure on your shoulders uh, and a lot of baggage there as well. So, you know, during this change that you're going to have, remember, online groups associations alliances friends and networking and socializing is what's going to help you through this difficult time this is a lot of pressure uh, you can't see the wood for the trees because of all this tension and pressure in your head and shoulders the 10th house is knees bone skin and teeth so in those areas there's a lot of pressure on your mind about that mobility in fact you might even be bended o bent over when it comes to your love you have the knight of pentacles and again we've got a king we've got a king we've got this difficulty here with the finances so for some of you it is he holds the purse strings or she holds the purse strings they're the dominant person in the relationship if it's about divorce you know one's being narcissistic selfish and greedy and um, you know we're able to negotiate and get a reconciliation on finances or in ourselves getting back to a better period if this is a marriage that's going to continue um so you know we, we've talked about it we're both on an equal footing uh, or if this is about you know like i said de facto where um we're, we're putting combined what we have so be careful you're not put on a pedestal very hard to live up to that um because you know you're not perfect and, and when people put you up there or you to them uh it's a very difficult and that could be the tricky situation that's going on especially if you're moving on from one marriage moving on to another that transition period is difficult and those situations will be back so if the ex has been a pain they might be making noises now Adriana says that they are helping you towards your greatest dreams, hopes, and wishes. Crystal says be patient. It's right over the hill. You can't see it. I can see it. I'm leading you there. It is going to be okay. Oceana says rise above that fear that you have. This is your unconscious as well. You're living in that unconscious. That's that pressure in your head and this insecurity and this value system and the other in your life and this pressure that you're having. So rise above it. So be kind to you and those you love. And from Jedi side, Jake, may the force be with you.